everyone, I'm Beanie and welcome back to another skin speed paint video. About two years ago, I adopted a cat from my local shelter, and ever since then my life has been way better. He's been with me through it all, and I love him so much. His name is Pluto, and I've mentioned him here and there throughout the last couple years on social media. You should totally follow me on Twitter if you'd like to see pictures I post of him, by the way. Today, I wanted to do what I do best and turn my little guy into art, in the form of a Minecraft skin. I thought that just making one skin wouldn't be enough, so I decided to make two versions. I'll be making a regular player skin of him, and I'll be making a texture using the Minecraft cat model. Shortly after I got him in 2020, I made a cat texture that still holds up alright, but I felt that I could do better. The one I made in 2020 is double the normal resolution as well, so I wanted to create one that could fit in Minecraft as is, so that I'd be able to create a texture pack that I could use to play Minecraft with Pluto. The first skin I attempted to tackle was the player skin. I've had lots of practice making animal skins that fit the player model recently, so I wasn't too intimidated by the task, but I understand why a lot of people probably would be. It takes a lot of planning to try and make sure the animal still resembles an animal after you've drawn it on a human-shaped model. Originally, I was just going to create Pluto's skin outright, but I instead decided to first create a plain white cat skin. I did the same thing with the cat texture later on. This not only helps me plan out where his black spots went better, but it also gives me the opportunity to easily make other cat skins using the same design. I might open up the possibility for my Patreon supporters to request I make their cat in the future. On that note, I have a Patreon now! Most of my posts lately have been free skin bases that I advertise on Twitter, but I do have some cool content there for my supporters as well. There isn't much yet, but I do have a couple text and image tutorials for the Sprout tier, and a set of skin tone bases for the Blossom tier, as well as tons of extra skins and alternate versions of skins that I showcase on Twitter. Now, let's get back to talking about these skins. I decided to create Pluto's skin with his tail sticking up but curved, because that's how he normally has it in real life. Cats stick their tails straight up when they're really happy and excited, and Pluto often does that, but mainly he keeps it in a curved but upwards position otherwise. To really make the paws seem like paws and not just stumps, I wanted to make sure to shade them with the lightest shade where the toes would be. Luckily, I have the luxury of using the overlay on this version of Pluto because it's using the player model, but most Minecraft mob models don't have that feature. So I took advantage of that and made the paws 3D as well. You might have noticed that I also added the tail to the overlay earlier. Pluto has some very interesting and unique patterns in his fur. I kind of think that the white line on his back looks like a lightning bolt, and sometimes one of his spots looks like a heart. He was taking a nap while I worked on these, and I didn't want to disturb him, so I had to rely on reference images I'd previously taken. When I started to add his markings to the skin, I did so using one of the black shades with the opacity set at 50%. This is so I'd be able to see how the pattern looked without having to commit to it. It allowed me to edit the pattern before fully coloring it in, and I think that was really helpful. Once I was fully happy with the pattern, I started filling it in. I used the bucket tool with the threshold turned down to 0%, so that it would only fill in the exact shade or color that I clicked on. I wanted to make sure it was set really low, so that it wouldn't just fill in the whole area I'd marked, and would instead just fill in the specific shade under it. When that was done, I was completely finished with Pluto's player skin, and now it was time to create his cat texture. I went with the same method I mentioned earlier, where I first created a fully white version of the texture. I looked at the vanilla Minecraft cat textures for inspiration on how to create some of the shading on this version. I liked the fur on the ragdoll cat's variant sides and stomach, so I went in that direction with Pluto, adding some nice fur definition. For the eyes on both variants, I didn't want to stay true to vanilla Minecraft cat eyes. I instead elected to use cute little one pixel eyes, even on the player model where I definitely had space to add more. I chose to do this so the skin would appear cuter, as to align with my shading style. I don't generally choose to shade very realistically, so I didn't want to throw off the skin by adding some realistic cat eyes. 
Pluto has quite a strong personality and he's very affectionate. I have never seen a cat who loves you quite as much as Pluto. He constantly wants to be cuddled and get forehead kisses. And even when I have to do things he hates like cleaning his ears or eyes, he's purring throughout the whole thing. He's also very vocal. He loves to speak his mind about everything. He'll often meow and paw at me until I stop what I'm doing and give my full attention to him. When I adopted him, I knew straight away that this was going to be the cat I went home with. I originally went to the shelter just to look at what cats they had, before I was prepared with all the supplies to give a cat a home. I wasn't expecting to fall in love with a cat right then and there. When I came up to the condo thing Pluto was in, he immediately started purring and rubbing his face on the bars, which isn't something any of the other cats had done. I asked if I could visit with him in a private room, and then I got to pet him and hold him for the first time. I knew that this was the kitty I would be adopting. I asked the shelter to put a hold on him for 48 hours, while I went to the store and bought all the necessary cat supplies and got my home ready for him. When I came back to adopt him, the shelter workers asked me if I was sure I wanted him in particular. They told me he had been re-abandoned at their shelter twice within the last couple of months because of behavioral problems, and on top of that, he had some ongoing medical issues that would have to be taken care of. But those things didn't matter in my decision because I was prepared to do everything I needed to do to give Pluto a good home. When I brought him home, I did experience a little bit of the behavioral issues that were described, but that and his medical stuff would never be anything I'd return a cat to the shelter for. It honestly wasn't even too bad. I always get really sad thinking about how Pluto is the absolute best cat I've ever met, but he kept getting a return to the shelter. I'm very happy that I'm able to give Pluto his forever home and love and spoil him every day. I couldn't imagine having a different cat and I'm very glad that our paths crossed. All right, that's all the Pluto exposition for this video. Now to get back to the speed paint narration. I also wasn't able to make his multicolored toe beans accurate in either of the skins because I didn't have a reference picture handy for his toes. And I again didn't want to wake him from his nap, but I tried my best to add some variation on both models. After I finished that, my skins of Pluto were complete. Now it was time to create a simple texture pack of Pluto's cat texture and show him off in game. I replaced the jelly texture with Pluto's texture because he already mostly resembles jelly and I usually find a jelly cat in Minecraft to name Pluto anyway. I think my skins turned out great. The player skin looks a little cursed, but I think it matches Pluto's energy perfectly. I'm really looking forward to playing Minecraft with Pluto soon, and if he ever decides to learn how to play, now he has his own player skin! Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. Please check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Patreon, and Discord server. I hope you have a wonderful day and a happy 2022. Bye!